Magic and I podcast and wherever you are in the world. I hope that you are having a wonderful day. And if you're seeing the show for the very first time and you like the show, please subscribe, like, and share, and hit that notification bell for more. Well, let's talk about that tweet that the Invictus Games put out today. And <laughs> I was pretty shocked. Well, I should say I was shook by this tweet. How in the world could UK be a contender for the Invictus Games in 2027? So, the two contenders are the United States and the United Kingdom. Now, <laughs> immediately I created a short. The Invictus Games Foundation is pleased to announce that Washington DC USA or Birmingham, UK have been shortlisted to host the Invictus Games in 2027. Now, I have one question for you guys. Where do you think the Invictus Games should be in 2027 and why? And here are some of the comments. At Mayrav1155 said, at least in the USA, the veterans will be celebrated. UK will sabotage the beauty of the games with relentless gossip, making it about Harry and his brother dividing the king. No circus, please. Invictus, we salute you. Another commenter said, in USA, Princess Meghan will not be protected in the UK. Another one said, Washington, D.C., no security, no Invictus Games. Sheila Kerr said, USA, because of the gutter UK press and the threat level for the Sussexes. Beatrice 1957 said, I vote for the USA because Harry, founder of this game, and as a veteran, gets more respect in the USA, and UK doesn't care about Harry's safety and his family particularly his wife. Jennifer Sutherland said, USA without a doubt, and I live in the UK. Ouch. Finally, Dara said, Washington, D.C. I admit I'm biased towards my country, but also we respect and love 365 days, 24-7, Prince Harry for his military service and his commitment to military service men and women. Well, I was not surprised at all <laughs> with these comments because just imagine what the United Kingdom's government did to Harry. They have denied Harry proper security for him and Meghan as well as his children when he's in the United Kingdom. Why should Harry even go to the United Kingdom have them make money off of him. You know the Invictus Games, and wherever it is, it brings in revenue, okay? Because of all the tourists that comes in, all the players and their families that comes in, they spend money on hotels, on food and restaurant and transportation and all of this. So it is, I would say, vital to any economy or in, in any country's best interest to have the Invictus Games um, be hosted in their country. So why should Harry put money into a country that denied him protection given the fact what happened to his mom? All he's asking is that when he comes to England, instead of that wishy-washy, haphazard security, give him proper security that's all he's asking and you're telling me that he should go and put money and bring revenue into your country when you didn't even have the kindness to give harry the type of security that he deserves i say absolutely no and i say no for several reasons harry now resides in america he and his wife and his children. So America should benefit from Harry, okay? The United Kingdom, they didn't want him. They literally forced him out with his wife and his child. 
and they should not reap the benefits of the Invictus Games. They should not reap the benefits of anything associated with Harry. Okay? And besides, there are several trips that he would have to be making in the United Kingdom, and that is not safe for him. So he should not go there at all. He should, the, the Invictus Games should be here. And I'm a little bit selfish about it too, because I want it to be here so I can participate, so I can go to the Inv Invictus Games finally, okay? Right here on my own turf, just a stone throw away from New York City, Washington, DC, okay? I am so looking forward and by the way the results will be um, given in July we will know exactly in July which country is victorious in terms of the um, you know the next 2027 20, Invictus Games location but I'm keeping my fingers crossed I'm praying and so far the Invictus Games also put out a um, a tweet where people can vote so if you can go ahead and vote okay they put out a tweet where people can vote and I'm telling you I saw 100% of the vote for the US and 0% for the United Kingdom so that is what that is going on <laughs> right now okay so definitely okay in other news as well Harry is going to go and I talked about that on my live by the way I have a live every Sunday at 2 okay so a little Sunday chit chat and so Harry is going to the United Kingdom on May 8th he's going to go for the 10th anniversary of the Invictus Games wow 10 years of doing good 10 years of really changing lives of our vets and um you know in person military personnel so 10 years of doing that transforming lives harry is just a blessing to so many people so 10 years of transforming lives so he's going to go in the united kingdom and i'm hoping that he just goes in and goes out which is the right thing to do because they're not providing him the type of security that he deserves and it's unsafe for him okay and Megan won't be going because the security is not there for them, okay? And I don't think Megan wants anything to do with the United Kingdom after how she's been treated in that country when she was there. So Harry alone will be going. And then the next um, trip is <laughs> Megan and Harry will be going to Nigeria. And I'm telling you, it's just going to be awesome seeing them on the world stage being hosted by another country. And as I call it, I call it the Montecito Royal Tour, okay? Um, so it's going to be, <laughs> it's going to be a heartbreaking moment for the people of the United Kingdom and the derangers when they see Harry and Meghan this month in Nigeria, Meghan is going back to her roots. Remember, she's 40%, 43, let me just get it right, 43% Nigerian, okay? And the Nigerian people have claimed her, and I get it, okay, Nigerian people. And also, too, they've given her her name, so guess what? We're going to have to share Megan. <laughs> We're going to just have to share her with the Nigerian people, okay? And Megan, Megan has a big heart. There's a lot to love about her. And um, she's the world's gift. Let's just put it that way, okay? So definitely excited about the month of May. As I said, the month of May is lit. We're going to see our Duchess out there and her husband Prince Harry um, in the month of May it's going to be a lot guys I don't know if my heart can take it but I'm here for it anyways okay guys so see you guys on the next episode love each and every one of you guys bye <laughs>